I'm in South Carolina raising bees, and let me tell you something, it is hot. Yesterday, it was over 100 degrees and humid. I can only imagine how hot it is in the bees. Let me show you some of the things that I do in order to help the bees with the extreme heat that we sometimes face here in the summer in South Carolina. Hive placement is really essential. The water source, and I keep it relatively close to the hive. This is probably my favorite tip for keeping your hives Idea number one, water source. I'm using a bee raft here, five gallon bucket. I change this water every two to three days. I put just a couple tablespoons of bleach in it to keep it from getting algae in it because it gets so quickly turns to algae here. My bees love the water source and I keep it relatively close to the hive. So I'll try to show you that. There's my hives uh, that are on this side of the property. We're only maybe 30 or 40 yards between the water source and the bees. All day long, the bees will go back and forth. They drink about a gallon of water a day, just these 10 hives that are on this side of the property. And the bees use the water to keep their hive cool. They'll actually bring droplets of water in to the hive, put it over the top of the brood. The water will absorb the heat and then they'll fan that uh, humid air out of the hive in order to try to reduce the temperature. Here's the second tip when it comes to helping your bees in the summer that I do here in South Carolina. Let me show you. This is what is called a ventilated inner cover. I've taken the top cover off. Here's my top cover. And all it is is, is pretty simple. It's just a, a one by four board with holes all the way around it and number eight hardware cloth in it. And then a normal inner cover hole in the middle. What this does is it allows air to come in through the front of the hive and the hot air rises, goes through the center hole and, and goes out the side holes. And the bees will actually stand up here and fan that air all the way through. This is probably my favorite tip for keeping your hives ventilated in the summer months more than anything else. If you combine this with my next tip, you're really going to increase the ventilation and help your bees to keep your hive cool. A third tip, is a ventilated bottom board. Tip number three is a little hard to show you, but basically using a screened bottom board. So by using a screened bottom board in conjunction with a ventilated top cover, and I get my ventilated top covers, everybody asks me, I get them from a company called Honey Run Apiaries, but you can make them yourself. They're really pretty simple. Um, but if you use a screened bottom board and a ventilated top cover, you're really gonna increase your ventilation. It's gonna allow the air to come right up through the screen and then right out through the top. It keeps your hive from just the heat accumulating inside of the hive. My fourth tip is if you don't have the ventilated inner cover on top and you just have a regular standard inner cover, you can take and put a coin or a small stick right between the inner cover and your top super right here. Just enough for the air to flow out. You don't want that to be so large that robber bees can get in. Keep it small but as long as you're not attracting rubber bees to the scent inside of your hive, you'll be fine. Again, what that does in conjunction with like a screened bottom board that I have on this hive, or if you just open up your entrance, is it gives the air a way to escape. The main thing with ventilation, with heat in your beehives in the south, is giving the heat that accumulates inside of the hive during the day a chance to escape and some way for that air to get out. The bees are gonna be fanning inside of the hive and moving that air, but if there's no way for that air to get out, then they're just really kind of stuck inside of a humid box. And so if you can reduce that humidity by keeping that airflow moving, you're really going to help your bees uh, tremendously. What happens inside of our hives, in the south anyway, is if you have a 100 degree day and the sun is beating inside of your hives, it can get really, really hot inside of the hives. And it takes a tremendous amount of energy for the bees to try to fan and move air through there to keep that heat from building up inside of your hives. So the bees are going to expend all of their energy just trying to keep that air circulating so the heat doesn't build up. But if it gets too hot inside of there, it can even affect your brood rearing. If it gets too hot, it can also affect just the wax melting inside of your hive as well on a super, super hot day. Hive placement is really essential for keeping your hive relatively cool in the summer times in, in the south. So I recommend that you try to place your hive on your property in such a way 
that it's going to get morning sun and afternoon shade. Usually in South Carolina, in my area of the country, the sun is beating on my hives the most at around between 4 and 6 p.m. and that's the hottest part of the day often here. And so if I can place my hive in such a way that during those really super hot hours, my hive is shaded by trees. I'm going to help my bees tremendously with keeping that hive cool. I don't recommend putting your hives under trees because it can lead to increased pests such as wax moths, but if you can put them where they can be in the shade of the trees in the afternoon, that's the best place to place your hive. If you can do that proactively when you're laying your hives out at the beginning, it'll go a long way to keeping your hives cool. So the key is, is to not let that heat build up inside of your hive by using some of these tips that I went over today. So if you're in the South, I'm in South Carolina, but if you're anywhere equal to me or more South than me, you're gonna find that uh, ventilation is an important part of beekeeping in our area of the world to keep that heat from building up inside of your hive. So good luck and stay cool. <laughs> this is Ray from Honey Top Bees. I just wanna encourage you, would you uh, mind doing me a favor and like my channel and also subscribe to my channel? Um, my channel is rather new, although I've been beekeeping for a while, and so I could use every like and subscribe I could get. So I appreciate you helping me out a little bit. And I'm going to continue to make videos to encourage you in your beekeeping journey.